Billy Vickers Henry Kendall No song is this of leaf and bird, and gracious waters flowing. I am sick at heart, for I have heard big Billy Vickers blowing. He de never take a leading place in chambers legislative, this booby with the vacant face this haughty dotty native. Indeed, I am forced to say aside, to you, O oh reader, solely, he only wants the horns and high to be a bullock holy. But, like all noodles, he is vain. And when his tongue is wagging, I feel inclined to copy Cain, and drop him for his bragging. He, being bush bred, stands, of course, six feet his dirty socks in. His lingo is confined to horse and plow, and pig and oxen. Two years ago he did less to say within his little circuit. But now he has, besides a tray, a team of twelve to work it. No wonder is it that he feels inclined to clack and rattle about his bullocks and his wheels he owns a dozen cattle. In short, to be exact and blunt, in his own estimation he has out and out the head and front top sawyer of creation. For, mark me, he can sit a buck for hours and hours together. And never horse has had the luck to pitch him from the leather. If ever he should have a spill upon the grass or gravel, be sure of this. The saddle will with Billy Vickers travel. At punching oxen you may guess there as nothing out can camp him. He has, in fact, the slouch and dress which bullock drivers stamp him. I do not mean to give offense, but I have vainly striven to ferret out the difference twixt driver and the driven. Of course, the statements here and made in every other stanza are Billy's own. And I am afraid there is stark extravaganza. I feel constrained to treat as trash his noisy fiddle-faddle about his doings with the lash, his feats upon the saddle. But grant he knows his way about, or grant that he is silly, there cannot be the slightest doubt of Billy as faith in Billy. Of all the doings of the day his ignorance is utter. But he can quote the price of hay, the current rate of butter. His notions of our leading men are mixed and misty very. He knows the coaching China hen he never speaks of Barry. As you l l assume, he hasn't he heard of Madame Patty as singing. But I will stake my solemn word he knows what maze is bringing. Surrounded by majestic peaks, by lordly mountain ranges, where highest voice of thunder speaks his aspect never changes. The Grand Pacific there beyond his dirty hut is glowing, he only sees a big salt pond. O'er which his grain is going. The sea that covers half the sphere, with all its stately speeches, is held by Bill to be a mere broad highway for his peaches. Through nature's splendid temples he plods, under mountains hoary. But he has not the eyes to see their grandeur and their glory. A bullock in a biped s boot, iterate, is Billy. He crushes with a careless foot the touching water lily. Ivy said enough I l o let him go. If he could read these verses, he de pepper me for hours, I know, with his peculiar curses. But this is sure, he l o never change his manners loud and flashy, nor learn with neatness to arrange his clothing, cheap and trashy. Like other louts, he l o jog along, and swig at shanty liquors, and chew and spit. Here ends the song of Mr. Billy Vickers.